Hi, welcome back to my channel Nest Bags and Cooks. Today I've come up again with another recipe that is how to make mixed fruit jello cake. So for that here are the ingredients. In this bowl I have taken some black and green grapes which I've already washed from before and here I have some dragon fruit which I have cut into cubes and here I have 400 ml of coconut milk and in this bowl I have taken two tablespoon of sugar and here I have taken one tablespoon of agar agar powder if you don't have agar agar powder you can even use gelatin powder also but then agar agar powder is a vegetable extract and gelatin is an animal extract so now let's proceed to our next step in this pan I have taken 100 ml of water into this I'm going to add the two ingredients So here I add the agar agar powder and the sugar too. This I'm going to give a thorough mix before placing it on the stove to boil. Now I'm going to place it on the stove. I'm keeping the flame on high so we are going to boil till the sugar and the agar agar powder are well incorporated with the liquid so we have to keep on stirring continuously From the time to time, let's check whether we can see any particles stuck on the spatula or not. But I can see that some agar particles can be seen on the spatula. So I'm going to boil again. It has not completely dissolved in the liquid so let's boil again We have to keep on stirring the liquid. Now let's check. Yes, I think it's completely dissolved. I cannot see any agar agar particles stuck on the spatula, you can see. So now I'm going to switch off the gas. I've kept the liquid aside to cool down for some time and here I have taken a mold but before pouring the liquid I'm going to grease the mold with some butter or vegetable fat the liquid has cooled down a little bit
now I'm going to pour into the mold I have poured only half because I'm going to drop the fruits also so after dropping some fruits on top of that again I'm going to pour the liquid Here I put the dragon fruit. You can use any fruits of your choice. Since I have only these three fruits, so I have used them. Again, I'm going to pour the liquid on top of it. So I have poured all the liquid on top of the fruits. I'm going to keep these in the fridge for around 15 minutes. Let me put some more grabs and dragon fruit on top of it. So in this way I'm going to add more fruits like this. So it's done. And now I'm going to pop it inside the fridge. And keep for around, as I've told you, 15 to 20 minutes. Let's start the next step. Into this pan, I am pouring the coconut milk. So you can see, it has completely melted down, isn't it, the coconut milk? I have placed it on the stove and keeping the flame in medium. Into this, I'm going to add 100 ml of water. So all together, I have used 400 ml of coconut milk and 100 ml of water. Into this, I'm going to add 1 fourth teaspoon of salt. I prefer adding salt because uh, it gives a nice taste if you want you can use sugar I'm not using any sugar and here I add one tablespoon of agar-agar powder also and this I'm going to give a thorough mix and boil till the agar-agar particles are well incorporated with the liquid So in this way I'm going to boil the liquid again as I have boiled the water before, isn't it? So in the same way I'm going to boil the coconut milk also and check from time to time whether the agar-agar particles can be seen on the spatula or not. So I can't see any agar-agar particles stuck on the spatula. That means the powder has completely dissolved in the liquid. So 
I have switched off the gas and let this liquid cool for some time I've taken out the fruit jello which I have kept it in the fridge for around 15 to 20 minutes isn't it so it has set 50% on top of this I'm going to pour the coconut milk with the help of the spatula I'm going to pour slowly the liquid on top of the fruit jello so it's done now I'm going to keep it in the fridge for around six to eight hours and after that I'll show you the final outcome so here it is after keeping for six hours in the fridge I have taken out just now I'll unmold on a plate and show you how does it look so here it is our fruit jello cake so mesmerizing isn't it uh, I'll tell you one tip while unmolding the cake on a plate wrap the mold with a hot towel for around one to two minutes then it will easily come out I'll cut a slice of it and show you look at this so beautiful from inside isn't it I'm sure you'll try to make this recipe if you like watching my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever I upload any new videos you will get the notifications thank you so much for watching my video patiently